Hello everybody, welcome at Abhimanyu IS, the leader in the preparation for the UPSC and state civil services examinations which has so far produced more than 2200 selections in a time span of just 23 years since its beginning in 1999. My name is Dr. H. S. Sidhu, I am Abhimanyu IS, I teach Indian economy and international relations. Teach karta I have been mentoring the civil services aspirants for more than 15 years and I have authored many books also for the preparation of the UPSC and state civil services examinations. Before moving ahead, let me share an important piece of information with you. At Abimanyu IS, we are commencing fresh batches for UPSC and state civil services preliminary and mains examination targeting 2023-24. This will be a one year program and will be available through offline and online mode. We are given, giving seven days free trial class, uh, classes also. If you want to join, you may click on the link given in the description. So, abhi, abhi manu IS mein humne issues and analysis ko lekar ki ek bahut important series start ki hai. Under this series, we discuss and, in a, and analyze those issues related with the current topics which are considered very much important for the purpose of the UPSC and state civil services examinations. So, as the topic I have discussion ke liye select kiya hai, that is related with the Indian economy and the name of the topic is RBI's digital rupee. So, pichle dino ne, ek, ek November 2022 se रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया ने जो डिजिटल रूपी का पायलट लॉन्च किया है जिसके अंदर नाइन बैंक्स को इंक्लूड किया गया है एंड दैट पायलट रिमेन सक्सेसफुल एंड एज फार एज दिस डिजिटल रूपी इज कंसर्न्ड डिजिटल रूपी को लॉन्च करने की बात uh, this 2022-23 के यूनियन बजट में हमारे फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर ने की थी डेट इन द ईयर 2022-23 द रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया विल लॉन्च द डिजिटल करेंसी इन द कंट्री सो लेट अस सी व्हाट इज इट सो व्हाई टू डिस्कस एस आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड दैट on 1st November 2022, Reserve Bank of India commenced the pilot launch of the digital rupee. So, digital rupee ka pilot launch kiya hai. 1st November 2022 ko, Bharat ki Central Bank, which is the Reserve Bank of India. And uh, 9 banks participated in the pilot launch and the launch hit. So, is ke andar, uh, 9 banks ne participate kiya hai. And uh, as I have already told that uh, that launch remained successful. Do you know that which are those seven banks that were included in this? State Bank of India, Bank of Baroda, Union Bank of India, HDFC Bank, ICICI Bank, Kotak Mahindra Bank, Yes Bank, IDFC Bank and uh, HSBC, Hong Kong Shanghai Banking Corporation. So what is the digital rupee? So digital rupee. Digital means that is a currency, that is a rupee which is in the electronic form, okay. So, a digital form of currency notes issued by the central bank. So, digital rupee is a digital form of currency note which has been issued by the central bank that is the Reserve Bank of India. It is an electronic form of money that can be used in contactless transactions. So, isko hum contactless transactions may use karenge. It is an electronic form of money. Okay. In the union budget of 2022, as we have already discussed, India's finance minister announced that the RBI would roll out a digital currency. Okay. So, Union Bank 2022 may हमारी जो फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर हैं यूनियन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर उन्होंने भारत के यूनियन बजट में ये अनाउंस किया था 
okay, in this year the government would launch a digital currency that is digital rupee so it is called a central bank digital currency that is cbdc okay, isko hum central bank digital currency kehte hain jisko abbreviate karke hum cbdc karke likh lete hain so this is there so there are two types of this central bank digital currency so what are those two types of the central bank digital currency one type is a, a cbdc r r means retail okay so it is a retail currency that would be potentially available for use by all so ye jo cbdc r hai jo that will be a retail currency that means a, Uh, it will be available for all individual and entities in the country and anybody may use that currency okay and uh, the second form of cbdc central bank digital currency that is cbdc w it is a wholesale currency that is designed for restricted access to selected financial institutions so ye ek wholesale currency rahegi this will not be available for use to all the individuals okay or the entities so it will be available for use only to uh, you can say uh, certain uh, entities okay that is you can say financial institutions uh, that would be able to use it for the uh, you can say huge payments so this is the point there and the next is uh, CBDC versus क्रिप्टो करेंसी तो ये भी एक इशू आता है कि इज सी बी डी सी एंड क्रिप्टो करेंसी बोथ द सेम और इज देर एनी डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू तो दिस इज द पॉइंट देयर तो एज फार एज दिस क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज कंसर्न वी ऑल नो दैट क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज एन अल्टरनेटिव टू द rupee we can say okay to the legitimate currency of the country rupee is the legitimate currency that is the legal tender in our country so agar hum cryptocurrency ki baat karte hain to cryptocurrency is sort of the alternative to that hai okay so it is not a, uh, you can say a complement to that okay but uh, agar hum सी बी डी सी की बात करेंगे सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी की बात करेंगे तो सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी इज और इट विल कॉम्प्लीमेंट द इंडियन रूपी तो दिस इज द पॉइंट देयर तो क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज ए डिसेंट्रलाइज डिजिटल एसेट एंड ए मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज बेस्ड ऑन ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी तो यू ऑल मस्ट बी अवेयर अबाउट दिस अबाउट द ब्लॉक चेन टेक्नोलॉजी अबाउट द क्रिप्टो करेंसी Okay, so cryptocurrency. So I am not going to explain this blockchain technology here uh, because I suppose that all of you know about it. So cryptocurrency is a digital asset. First of all, okay. So it is a medium of exchange which is based on the blockchain technology. Okay, so it is not a legal tender money. First of all, so its acceptability depends on the person who is receiving the payment. Uh, okay so you can compel any anybody you cannot compel anybody to accept the payment in the cryptocurrency or to accept the consideration of the transaction in the cryptocurrency so this is the point cryptocurrency is in controversy due to its decentralized nature and lack of control on it because jo cryptocurrency hai uski decentralized nature hai anybody may create Uh, the currency okay so that means uh, there is a uh, no central authority which is controlling the uh, this flow of the the cryptocurrency or which is controlling the creation of the cryptocurrency so that is why it is said that it is a decentralized okay uh, currency and uh, lack of control on it so iske upar kisi bhi authority ka koi control nahi hota okay so there is no centralized authority which is issuing the cryptocurrency or there is no uh, recognized financial institution which is issuing the cryptocurrency so that is the problem there okay 
So it remains in operation without any intermediary like banks, financial institutions or central authorities. Iske andar koi intermediaries nahi hote. For example, uh, banks, intermediaries and financial institutions, other financial institutions which are other than the banks, those are also the intermediaries and central authorities are also the intermediaries. But uh, as far as the cryptocurrency is concerned, there will be no intermediaries. While in the central bank digital rupee, there will be the intermediaries. And cryptocurrency is not a legal tender, while CBDC will be a legal tender. Okay, so jo cryptocurrency hai, wo ek legal tender nahi hai. Uh, but yes, the jo central bank digital currency hai or digital rupee hai, that will be a legal tender. Okay, so this is the difference between the this uh, CBDC, central bank digital currency or central bank digital rupee and cryptocurrency. This is the difference. Next is users of the central bank digital currency or central bank uh, digital rupee. So what are the various users of this? One of the important uses is that it is an additional option to the currently available forms of money. So uh, important point to be noted here that uh, it is an additional option. It is not an alternative to the uh, currently available legitimate currency or the legal tender money. So it is not an alternative to that but uh, it is an additional option which is available and the second point is that uh, it is easier faster and cheaper okay? because this this is the digital currency so that is why the transactions would would become easier the transfer would become easier the settlement of the consideration would become easier and it will be faster also and cheaper also all transaction benefits of uh, other types of the digital money. So, is ke andar jo uh, or kisam ke jo bhi digital money or digital currencies at present which are there in the market in circulation. Okay, so un sabhi ke benefits humare jo central bank digital rupee ya central bank digital currency mein rahenge. And then complements the current form of currency. Ye humne pehle bhi baat kar li hai ki ye jo physical form mein jo rupee hai ya currency hai jo India mein or uh, jo legitimate currency hai which is the legal tender ye usko uh, you can say uh, replace nahi karegi uska alternative nahi hai uska substitute nahi hai in fact ye usko complement karegi provides an additional avenue of payment to the users so ye kya hai user ko ek aur alternative uh, user ko ek aur we can say alternative nahi user ko ek aur uh, option deti hai okay, to settle the payments and uh, supported by state of the art payment systems that are affordable, accessible, convenient, efficient, safe and secure. Jab hum online payments karte hai, to hume uh, ye chahiye hota hai. Tab se primary concern hota hai safety, security, okay, convenience, affordability. So ye sab isme jo points hai, ये कवर करता है एंड ऑल द मेरिट्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस सेंट्रल बैंक डिजिटल करेंसी इट विल फर्दर बूस्ट इंडियाज डिजिटल इकोनॉमी सो इट इज गोइंग टू बूस्ट द डिजिटल इकोनॉमी ऑफ इंडिया मेक्स मॉनेटरी एंड पेमेंट सिस्टम्स मोर एफिशिएंट इट विल मेक मॉनेटरी सिस्टम मोर एफिशिएंट इट विल मेक पेमेंट सिस्टम मोर एफिशिएंट हाउ पेमेंट सिस्टम एफिशिएंट तो हो गया बिकॉज़ सेटलमेंट ऑनलाइन होगी इमीडिएटली होगी रियल टाइम में ट्रांजैक्शंस की सेटलमेंट होगी वन पॉइंट इज दैट एंड दूसरा जो मॉनेटरी सिस्टम है ये उसको एफिशिएंट ये कैसे बनाएगी बिकॉज़ ऑल द ट्रांजैक्शंस विल बी नोटिस्ड बाय द सेंट्रल अथॉरिटी ओके सो देयरफॉर इट वुड बिकम डिफिकल्ट टू हाइड द ट्रांजैक्शंस ओके सो देयरफॉर यू कैन से uh, it will bring more efficiency in the monetary system also it will discourage or corrupt the black economy also contribute to furthering financial inclusion is se financial inclusion hogi jin logon ke paas ab ab agar hum baat karte hain ke you can say physical facilities ki kami hai ya transaction karne ke liye jo physical form mein transaction karne ke liye lack of infrastructure hai ya contact uh, ki problem hai uh, connectivity ki problem hai to wo log through the medium of the internet Okay, so wo transaction kar sakenge or uh, this will 
lead to the more financial inclusion in the country you can say and the next is prevent black money and flow of untaxed money okay so jo untaxed money hai jab aap usko transact karoge koi transaction karoge jab aap uska len den karoge jab uska flow hoga so that would be caught or oh, that would come into the notice so that means untaxed money uh, it would become difficult to hide the untaxed money and uh, government will have full control over how money leaves and enters the country okay and uh, uh, this would allow the government better budgeting and economic plans so government ke notice mein rahega ke paisa kab bahar ja raha hai kab inflow aa raha hai india ke andar kitna aa raha hai kitna ja raha hai so agar aisi information government ke paas accurately milegi so then it would become easier for the government to make the budgeting and to make the economic planning okay with more accuracy and uh, no risk of loss unlike that in the case of physical money jab aap physical money rakhte ho so there is the loss of the uh, mutilation of the currency there is loss of loss by theft uh, there is risk of loss by theft uh, there is a uh, risk of loss by fire etc and so uh, there there are many types of risks associated and therefore uh, uh, we have to pay the cost for keeping the uh, liquid cash in the physical form with us so that is why yahan wo wale risk nahi involve rahenge and interbank market will become more efficient so interbank jo transactions hain those those would become faster easier and uh, cheaper also and it will reduce the transaction costs also so transaction cost kam ho jayegi because there is no uh, you can say involvement of the physical currency uh, okay carrying the physical currency will not be there transportation of or the movement of the physical currency will not be there there will be the online movement so this will be the digital currency okay electronic rupee so that is why the transaction cost will be lowered so this is all about uh, this that is the central bank digital currency or central bank digital rupee so i hope it is clear to you thank you very much all the best we'll see you again with a new topic thank you very much